if you're in a relationship, you know, either you're married or even something more casual, Facebook has a way to figure out whether you're gonna break up. Facebook has a good method to predict how stable your relationship is. They have gone through and looked at all the millions and millions of people that have told them whether their relationship status is married and engaged and looked at the changes and they know when people break up. And they have gone back and compared all the times people have changed their relationship status to the social networks that gave rise to that change. And what they found is the shape that your mutual friend network should have for your relationship to be the most stable. You'd think that the longest lasting or the most solid relationships would have a network kind of like this, where it's your friends, you know, her friends, and her friends are all friends with your friends, and you kind of all know each other, and everybody's all interconnected in one big Facebook party. It turns out that is not the most stable. In fact, it's 50% weaker. You're 50% more likely to break up if, 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 that, if you're in a relationship and that's what your network looks like. The most stable relationships are what I call the hub and spoke model. So you and your significant other should be at the center of a bunch of unrelated cliques. And all the other people out there don't really know each other except through you guys. So in my case, I'm married. My coworkers, um, there's my coworkers say over here. They don't know my wife's coworkers. They don't know my wife's dance troupe. My gamer friends don't know her dance troupe or coworkers either. We are the kind of unique center of this social universe around us. And, and that, according to, to Facebook, is the most stable type of, of network. In fact, it's 50% more stable than this interconnected thing where you're all buddy, 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 buddy. To figure out how stable or perhaps unstable your particular relationship is, you can look at your mutual friends. And then after doing some, some thought and maybe writing it all down on a piece of paper, you and your significant other will figure out what Facebook already knows about you. And I explain why and uh, how in my book, Dataclism. I spent years researching it. It's got lots of great stuff in there, thanks to you guys using the internet.